Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do kind of like a fun video, just a lighthearted one where I talk about popular luxury handbags that I have absolutely no interest in. And I kind of was thinking about this recently. I did a video a few weeks back talking about how social media has influenced my luxury purchases and my spending. And I think sometimes when you're on social media, you know, when everyone is buying these popular handbags, you start to think, well, should I like them too? Should I be buying them? So if you've ever had that thought about these handbags that I'm talking about in this video, just know that you're not the only one that feels this way. All of us like different things. We look for different things in handbags. We all have different styles. So yeah, I just wanted this to be kind of like a fun video where I somewhat roast these handbags. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and let's get into this video. So let's start off by talking about the Chanel Trendy CC. Now this bag is the one that out of everything on this list is the most like the type of bags that I usually gravitate towards and purchase. And if you frequently watch my channel, then you might think, why do you not like this bag? This is you to a T. Well, kind of, but not really. So it's lambskin, it's quilted, it's a flap style bag, it's got the top handle, which are all things that are on my checklist, like a mental checklist of what I look for in a handbag. But there's just some design details to it that no matter how much I like those other aspects of it, it's just a complete no for me. So the first thing is that metal bar on top and that just doesn't look very classic to me. I don't know, I think that's going to date, first of all. And the other thing is that I kind of think that that makes it look like if you were to hang your handbag on a metal hanger or a metal coat hanger or something like that. I don't know, it just looks really strange to me. And there are a few handbags that are on the market, whether it's designer or not, that kind of give me that same impression when I look at it. I just think like, it looks like you're hanging a bag off of a hanger. So I'm not a big fan of it. And not to mention, the bag is just really expensive for what it is, in my opinion. I think that a lot of times people compare the Trendy CC to the Coco Handle and the Business Affinity because they are so similar in many ways. But the Trendy CC is significantly more expensive than the other two. And I think that it looks the worst out of all three. I am also not a big fan of that really kind of rectangular boxy shape to it. I just think that top handle bags look better if they're more of like a trapezoidal type of shape, sort of like the Coco handle. I think that kind of suits the style of handbag better. Plus I'm just not really sure about the long-term wear and tear of this bag. I mean, the base of it is not completely flat. There are different compartments that you can see from the sides and the bottom of the bag. So I just don't know how that will wear over time. And for a $6,000 bag, I don't think that's quite acceptable. Now let's talk about a bag that really isn't my style. So of course I would never buy it just for that reason alone, but that's not the only reason that I am really not interested in this bag whatsoever. So I'm talking about the nylon bags from Prada. So that of course includes the very popular re-edition bag that so many people seem to have right now, but really I'm talking about any nylon bag from Prada. So first of all, this is just way too casual for me. I think you need a very kind of cool, casual, street style type of vibe and look to your wardrobe to really be able to pull off the re-edition bag or any of these nylon bags in general. I think I would just look really disheveled if I were to try to wear that. But also I think that it is just too expensive for what it is. It is a nylon bag, and if I wanted to get myself a nylon bag, I would get one from the sports sack. I wouldn't pay Prada prices for a nylon bag. And also, am I the only one who really doesn't like Prada's logos? And it's logos plural because they have like a few different variations of their logos, and I just think all of them look so awful. All of them are too excessive in my opinion. They have that one that's in that sort of upside down triangle shape. And that reminds me of the guest logo, first of all. And there's also that one that they put on, I think they're canvas tote bags, that's around this circular floral pattern 
order i don't know i'm describing it so horribly i'll leave a photo of it on the screen and then there's this third one that i think they have on some of like their camera bags for example and all of them just look so busy it's like is it not enough that you write prada milano on it you have to include all this other stuff too so yeah it's i'm just i don't think i'm a big fan of prada i thought that when raf simmons joined prada i would maybe like them a bit more because i really liked what he did for dior but i don't know i'm not that impressed honestly and the next bag i want to talk about is actually more of a category of handbags in general but i'm lumping it all together because no matter which designer you get it from it essentially all looks the same and i'm talking about vanity cases now i use the word handbag to describe vanity cases very loosely because in my opinion it is more of an slg and prior to maybe mid 2019 or so vanity cases were slgs meant to store your makeup and it wasn't until designers realized that you could put a strap on a vanity case and charge handbag prices for what is essentially an slg so so many designers have been churning out vanity cases recently and i just don't think that it is very functional as a handbag so i'm talking about the vanity cases that zip around the top of the bag so there are some exceptions that i think look more bag like so for example the chanel filigree vanity case that zips around the side of the bag i think that is better as a handbag and i would totally consider getting that bag if they made it in lambskin but the ones that zip around the top it just not really functional as a handbag i don't think it is i mean if you were to hang it on your shoulder or crossbody it just sticks out and that's kind of the same thing that i have against bucket bags it looks really weird having this cube shaped thing sticking out from your hip it looks like you had a abnormal growth there and also while i don't think that vanity cases in any type of size work well as a handbag i think the ones that are comically small are the worst offenders because you can't even put your phone in there so <laughs> how can you have a handbag if you can't put your phone in there i mean our pockets are already small enough i don't need my phone to not fit in my handbag because i feel like handbags were designed to fit what we can't fit in our pockets and if i have to hold something like my phone in my hand then i might as well not have that handbag at all now here's a polarizing one for you guys, the Hermes Birkin. Now I have a question. If the Birkin and Kelly were not as expensive as they were and there wasn't so much hype around it, would you still want this bag? Would you still think it is as amazing as it supposedly is? And if we're being completely honest with ourselves, is there not even a small part of us that kind of want these bags because of the status and bragging rights behind it and kind of the ability to say hey i won at this hermes game and honestly i kind of cringe a little bit when i hear people refer to it as the hermes game or the hermes journey i mean it's not that deep it's just buying a handbag it's very superficial when you think about what an Hermes journey entails. I don't know. It's just a little mini rant that I wanted to get out there. But anyways, that was a little bit off topic. So let's talk about the Birkin and why I don't like it and I would never get it. So I think that handbag designs and details on any particular handbag should not just be for show, but they should be functional and practical. And that flap that folds over the front of the Birkin is anything but that. I mean, no one really uses that bag as it was designed and intended to be used. I mean, the intention is however you want to use it, but you know, you would think that if they put that detail there and when they first show you the bag, saran wrapped and everything inside the box, that's how they have it shown to you. So that should be how it's used, right? But it's just not practical to have to fold that over all the time. And yes, I love my flap style bags so you might think well why are you just complaining about the birkin but for the birkin there's little slots on that flap which have to go over the handles and especially since the bag is handheld 
who's got time to fiddle with that, right? I don't have time to fiddle with it. If I did that in New York City, someone is going to pickpocket me as I'm trying to close my bag. And not to mention, I just don't really like how it looks when it's closed. But even when it's open, I don't think it's anything special. I mean, at the end of the day, it is just a tote bag. And there are so many other tote bags that cost a fraction of the price of the Birkin. And the last bag I want to talk about in this video is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. And I get why people like this bag. It's very casual and carefree because it is that coated canvas material. But I don't think I've ever really seen anyone use the Palm Springs Mini as an actual backpack. It's usually as a crossbody bag. And yes, that is a way that you could use the bag. But I think that it just looks kind of strange hanging crossbody. I generally don't think that bags look quite right when they're taller than they are wide. To me, the proportions are just kind of off. And if I wanted a crossbody bag, I wouldn't go for a backpack looking crossbody bag. There are so many other prettier looking crossbody bags out there. So that is it for this video. And as I mentioned, this was meant to be kind of a lighthearted video. So please don't take this the wrong way. If you love any of these bags that I talked about today, I mean, this is only my opinion and really what do I know, right? So I really hope that you found this video entertaining kind of funny hopefully and if you liked it please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on these handbags or what popular handbags do you have no interest in yourself and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week and I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next so I'll see you very soon bye for now mm -hmm.